My name is Celine and I'm 16 years old and I'm from Anapana Christian School. So today I will talk about youth and culture. When we think of the word youth, what comes to our mind will be something that is fresh, something new, creativity and young. While on the other hand, when we think of culture, what comes to our mind are probably something that is old or ancient even and something that is boring or maybe irrelevant but as youngsters as youth it is undeniable that we are the ones who has the responsibility to promote our culture but how can we do that when these two are looking like they're the exact opposite of each other well first get to know our culture Maybe we're saying that culture is something boring and irrelevant because we never really know about it in the first place. Maybe we must try to know about our culture first and then we can try to like it. And thus, we will um, have the will in us to promote it and to develop it. And then the next step is after we know about our culture, we can try to create creative works by taking inspirations from those cultures. So I'm going to talk about two specific things here. The first one is from visual. Let's take an example from Japan. Japan is worldwide known because of its anime and also its manga. From these two medias, we can see how Japan is inserting small cultural things inside their um, visual. For example, um, it might not be the main plot, but they still put a lot of Japanese aspect into it. Let's take an example from the famous Naruto series. So Naruto likes to eat ramen, right? And ramen is an actual food which comes from Japan and because it is shown in the anime Naruto many people are trying to search for ramen and thus they find out about Japan and thus people will get more information about Japan and also their cultures and by people knowing more about their culture well that means Japan has succeeded and then the next media that we can use is of course music music is a universal language even if we hear certain songs from language that we don't understand we sometimes can still feel the emotion this just speaks of how music is really flexible and is able to be a device for us to communicate ideas Let's take an example from K-pop. K-pop is a big thing these days. And I also found out uh, one of the most famous songs this day is the song Lalisa. So Lalisa is a solo song from Lisa. She's actually a member from a worldwide known girl group, which is Blackpink. So in her solo song, there is a certain part in it where she inserted Asian melodies in it. So when you listen to the part, you automatically think of Asia. And if you look into the MV specifically, you will um, directly know that she is talking about Thailand. So Lisa is actually Thai, but she debuted in a Korean girl group. Many people are using this song for dance challenge and etc. Which means that this song has captured people's attention. And people will start to search for the song, start to search for her name. And eventually discover Thailand and eventually will learn about their cultures. And that is when they have succeeded on promoting their cultures creative industry is a good place to start because Indonesia actually have so many talented young people. 
we basically have writers like script writers, story writers, and then we have illustrators, and then we also got animators. We also got singers, musicians, producers. We basically got all of the talent, all of the potentials that we need, and it will be such a waste if we don't make it for a good use. So if we got the talent, why can't we just start and make these things come true? Once a famous person said that creative industry is like an investment, and I think it's really true because we can see how Japan has developed so much just because of their cartoons and their animations. If we want to achieve that benefit in the future, if we want to achieve that kind of impact on letting the world know about our culture, if we want to develop our culture. Then the best thing to do is to start from ourselves, and it starts from now. Let's go for it, for the sake of our country. Thank you for listening. Bye bye.